Welcome back, roofing professionals. I'm Amberlyn. Hi, guys. I'm Madison. And we're back with another podcast for you today. Now, last week, we talked to you about the Google reviews, which are still down. Um, unfortunately, there's no change for that in sight. We're currently dealing with that pandemic. But with check-ins, there's a way to circumvent that. Now, Madison, you have been writing about check-ins and reviews for a minute now, <laughs> a little bit more than a minute. <laughs> it's been at least two minutes, Amber. Jeez. Oh. oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have I should have checked the clock. But um, can you go ahead and kind of define check-ins for us, real quick? Sure. Uh, I think the easiest way to to really learn and understand check-ins is to visualize it um, on the Google Map. So picture uh, Google Maps, and you can see hundreds of businesses in just in your service area alone, plus all the different residential areas. Uh, but you don't really see your company's activity as much. You don't really get a sense of where you've been working. That's how Google perceives your business. But check-ins can really help with that. Every time you check in, it's like you drop a little bitty pen on that Google Map. That pen says, hey, this roofer just performed asphalt shingle repair, or I don't know, maybe tile replacement or tile roof replacement. Um, and oh, looks like they performed it within this specific community. That's cool. Now, one little pen might not seem like a big deal. Um, and in all honesty, it isn't. But let's say you do it every day or every week after a repair. Pretty soon, in a given year, you've done it, uh, you know, dozens of times, and uh, pretty soon your little pins start to cover the Google Map. Uh, eventually, all Google sees it, little pins from your business. So when somebody does a search to about asphalt shingle roofing or tile roof repair, it's your business name that they decide to rank at the top of local search results, and that's a very tremendous boost to traffic right there. So it kind of sounds like it shows your actual service area and mm -hmm. then it takes those that information and goes, oh, this person's in that service area and needs roofing. So, mm -hmm. hey, look at this guy. Exactly. And, and look at it this way, Amberlynn. Think of like a, the dozens of people or the dozens of roofing companies within the DFW area alone None of them, like all of them say, hey, we provide these services and we work here. But, but Google doesn't really see, okay, well, where's the evidence of them providing that service? Uh, when you drop those check-ins, it's like, hey, they provided this specific service at this specific community. Next time somebody in that area needs that type of service, they're the person I'm showing or they're the company that I'm showing because Google is constantly trying to get those, the best listings possible. That's pretty cool, man. Now for us, we have a check-ins pro uh, plugin program uh, called brand review and we've brought it up a bunch, but we haven't gotten around to talking about it. So we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about it today. Yeah. We keep on promising to talk about it, but uh, putting it off, don't we? Well, it is a big subject and it does so much that we kind of want to dedicate like a good amount of time to it because mm -hmm. it's yeah. important that roofers know how to, how many things they're going to get out of it and how to use it. Yeah, that's completely fair. It is a very significant portion of our service package, but one that has a huge impact on local SEO. So yeah, we can easily go through it real quickly in just a few minutes. It's relatively simple, more than you would think. For sure. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, cool. So let's start. Let me think of the best way to uh, how you would explain this. Okay. You've just finished. <laughs> Picture this. Once <laughs> like upon it. a time. Yes. Uh, your team has just finished a brand new installation. Let's say it's a uh, impact resistant roofing. You've just finished putting up those fancy shingles up top and uh, you take out your phone and snap a quick pic of it. Now, 
that's, you've already begun the check-in process this way. The next thing you're going to do, you're going to take out uh, your phone and look up the URL that we've provided for your specific business. And uh, that URL takes you to the check-in system, which is a really simple form. That form starts with the customer's name. And then from there, you can add in their contact information. Uh, your choice of email, their email, and or the customer's phone number. I think it's good to do both, but you can do one or the other or both as you desire. Then you'll tag that particular check-in, which just means drop-down list, saying, hey, Impact Resistant Shingles, I provided in this community, let's say uh, White Settlement uh, for a DFW example. And uh, we are working out of the Fort Worth office. Uh, there will be geotagged coordinates at the bottom, which you don't need to mess with. And all that's left is to upload that photo that you've already taken. Then you submit and your check-in's done. That's Not, super simple. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it really is. Um, it's, it's, I mumbled my way through it a little bit, but, uh, it's, it's really simple. Like anyone, anyone can go through it. If you can fill out a form and take a picture, you're golden and it takes less than five minutes to complete this. For sure. And if you're a roofer with roofing webmasters, you already have this plugin probably associated with your site which is the pretty cool thing about it. So you have access to this and now you've heard kind of how it works, but why should roofers check in? Um, now, Madison, what are some of the awesome benefits? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think there's so many potential benefits to it, but I think really the top one is no one else is doing it. Like it's, it's not that like, like people just aren't familiar with it. And if you're doing it, like we have seen some significant ranking changes for our clients who consistently do this stuff uh, on local ranking stuff, even within a matter of months of doing this consistently, once they check into each of those job sites, Google recognizes that effort and they, they're going to put you on those local map packs pretty quickly if you're doing it each month. Yeah, something like 99% of your competitors as a roofer um, aren't actually doing geotagging and check-ins. So with Roofing Webmasters, you're kind of ahead of the curve already. We stay ahead of the curve. <laughs> <laughs> we certainly, it's certainly our effort that we make, yeah. Yeah. So um, on top of just checking in, you go ahead and you get a review aspect of it as well. It's part of the brand review platform. Yeah, that's actually, that's a very good point. Our brand review platform is two parts, one part check-in and one part automated review uh, system. Whenever you check in, the reason why you collected that email and that, uh, that cell phone in the first place is that it sends your, your client uh, a list of links to your review platforms. And that can be, you know, GMB, Google reviews, um, or that can when, be Facebook. When Google reviews are back. <laughs> when they're back, that's a good point. Uh, that can also be Facebook recommendations, Better Business Bureau, you know, you name it. For sure. So see, you get all your links out there and that, oh, that's the load off because carrying all those links around and having to remember, we're here, we're here, we're here. Oh yeah. It's hassle. And uh, one, one great way to remember uh, the check-in process or remember why it's so important is uh, the fact like once you do the check-in on the job site, if you're doing it consistently, then your client is also receiving like the odds of them actually submitting that review go way up when you're doing it that quickly. That's pretty cool. Now with the client information that you've gathered, uh, it's pretty private, right? Like, I know a lot of customers are scared that we're just going to go ahead and pin drop their house on a map like, your roofer has been here. This is your address. Yeah, that would be that would be pretty nasty, wouldn't it? So, yeah, privacy is a very big, um, it's a very big priority for us uh, as part of the system. And that's why we never, whenever each of these check-ins and these reviews upload to 
the client's website. It's something I forgot to mention earlier. It shows up on your website, which is really cool. Uh, it doesn't actually show the address of the client itself. It, um, it only shows the general area within a few blocks. So it maintains their privacy that way. Yeah, so you're getting that good content, that review, and you're not like jeopardizing the relationship with the client at all. Yeah, no, we would never, we would never want to jeopardize um, the client's privacy. No, for sure not. Well, Madison, what is your number one takeaway from our discussion today? I like to ask that question. Okay. <laughs> um, well, I, I would have two, but I'll just do one. Um, Check-ins are exceptionally rare these days. And when you factor in the fact that Google reviews are kind of out for the time being, that's even more incentive to, to start doing check-ins con consistently. Because if you do, you're going to be the only one, in very rare cases, one of two uh, of businesses that are checking in in your area that means you're the only person showing up for those specific jobs in your specific community and Google that's gets gold to Google. That's a good, that's a very, very good point, especially consistency. It's like critical that you're consistent. My takeaway is yeah, Google's down right now and getting those reviews are super critical. However, your marketing doesn't stop just because one aspect of it's down. So mm -hmm. go ahead and press on trying to do check-ins and anything else you can do for your marketing because it's still going, man. And it too shall survive this. <laughs> That's a very good point. This too shall pass. <laughs> this too shall pass. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Roofing Professionals, we will see you next week. So signing off. Have a good time. Bye.